Miss Dea and friends. Today we are from Good Seven, consists of me, Nicholas Kiri, Christina Vena, and Alvin Binardiarta. We are going to present about free to lay case study managing inventory. Next. First of all, what is the history of Frito-Lay? frito, -Lay? frito -Lay began as two separate companies in the early 1930, the Frito Company and H.W. Lay and Company. Company merged in 1961 to form Frito-Lay in Company by Herman Lay. Then it became the subsidiary of PepsiCo in 1965. Next. about Frito-Lay company. Frito-Lay is an American subsidiary of PepsiCo that manufactures, markets, and sells corn chips, potato chips, and other snack food. Frito-Lay is the world leader in the salty snack category, controlling more than 35% of the world markets and 60% in the US. Next. About the Frito-Lay products, the primary snack food brands produced under the Frito-Lay are Fritos corn chips, Cheetos cheese flavored snacks, Doritos and Tostitos tortilla chips, Lay's and Ruffles potato chips, rolled gold pretzels, and Walker's potato crisps, and each brand generated annual worldwide sales over $1 billion in 2009. Next. Frito-Lay case. Frito-Lay company has problems in the supply side due to the raw material storage management section. The problem is the time and quality of storage of raw materials when shipped and packaging of supplies that take a very long time. Next. Relevant theories. Inventory management refers to the process of ordering, storing, using, and selling a company's inventory includes the management of raw materials, components, and finished products as well as warehousing and processing of such items. These are the inventory category. There are raw materials, which represent various materials a company purchases for its product pr production process, must undergo significant work before a company can transform them into a finished good. Second, work in process represents raw materials in the process of being transformed into finished product. Finished goods are the completed products readily available for sale to a company's customers. The last one is merchandise, represents finished goods a company buys from suppliers for future resale. Next will be explained by Alvin. Okay, thank you, Nicholas. So now I want to discuss question in this case. So in this question, we will discuss the second question. And the first question is how does the mix of the Victoria inventory differ from those at machine or cabinet shop? A process for huge facility. Frito-Lay company is a product oriented or focused manufacturer determined to meet the large volume of a few different variety products. Frito-Lay company has invested in buying of the machinery in order to maintain a large volume manufacturer lines in a seamless manner while at the same time uploading the right MLO as a result of the production 
product that consisted of the raw consumable ingredients. Frito Lai manufacture plants across the board have the unique inventory because they are concentrated on having a merchandise that makes use the same raw materials. The next question is what are the major inventory items at Frito Lay and how rapidly do they move through the process? The major inventory product in the Frito Lay are corn milk, potatoes, corn, oil, as well as seasoning. The case indicates that the potatoes come from the truck on the daily basis and consumers in a single shift because the company having a storage that can only hold the potatoes for seven five hours while the outer inventory inflates of four half day four days and seven days in a span of the one comma four days the finished products to move from production to distribution the next question what of the four types of inventory give it an example of each at free the first one is the type raw materials. Example, potato, corn, corn flour, oil, and seasoning. And the uh, type one, the second is the work in process. Each example is like that are uh, in the process of the making. Example, washing, drying, cutting potato, and other. And the third type is the finished goods. In example, snacks that are baked and ready to go. And the fourth type is MLO. Motor gears, parts, and auto repair material is the example in MLO types. And the next question. How would you rank the dollar investment in each of the four types from the most investment to the least investment? And the first one is MLO. It is the highest value because the dollar value of the MLO inventory to run the plant efficiency will have the highest inventory value and it's uh, easy to get the damage. And the second is finished goods from the Vitoli factory. Assessed at the cost of the finished products, including raw material, level, depreciation, and the auto conversion cost, 1,4 days of the production is a quite a value because the more efficiency in speed it is, we get the more characters, the cost we must get paid. And the third is the raw material that go into production of the process put in the Frito-Lay company. The availability of the farm based products will be seasonal and therefore, the storage equipment during the low season may increase. However, the income of the raw material cannot always be predicted by season. So it is cannot be accelerated by the cost because the season or the winter play a role in the yield of the raw materials. Investment that can be used are only to or farming, production, a producing product, storing raw material results, and so on. And the last is the work in the process. 
The working forces inventory is the law was among the four inventory categories in the term of the dollar value because they only use the surface such as a pressing potato flying button on the MLO machine and other. It is an example. So they need the human resource. And the next question is why does inventory flow so quickly got a veto lay plans? The raw material are possible, so the veto lay factory needs to move quickly to convert raw material into finished goods. The company is a hungry automated capacity in intensive factory. They move the raw material, such as a potato to Finish product in one half shift and in order to quickly for a finished product from the processed raw material. Quantity of the product will be affect the customer interest. So the factory makes the finished product with the distribution change in one from four days in the fastest time. So the next that is represented by Fena. Okay, thank you often for the chance. The next question is, why does the company keep so many plants open? Having regional facilities allows freedom like companies to be able to charter to specific regional tastes and possibly adapt, adapt the recipes to accommodate regional customers' preference. Second is package snacks such as those made by the Friday factory, LQP, a relatively large space, and transportation costs will be quite expensive if the finished product has to be moved over long distances. And the last, and the last is, if that one plant is damaged, market can continue to be supplied from other nearby Friday mills until these plants are operational again. Next is, why doesn't Frito-Lay make all its 41 products at each of its plants? The first reason is because Frito-Lay factory has seven products with annual sales of more than $1 billion and another 15 products with annual sales of more than $100 million that are in high demand. And it makes sense for Frito-Lay to manufacture them in all of their facilities across, across North America. But the other 19 products are in less demand, so they can only produce in a handful of Frito-Lay factories and distributed nationwide. And the second reason is because each factory will produce a well-known product and a product of choice, which is decided by the uh, leader or director of the company based on the environment or region where the condition of the raw materials can that can be processed on, at the site. And the last is the conclusion from this case. According to the problem that Frito Lay Company faced, cost savings and safety of Raw materials products is the main goal of to solve this problem. And the second conclusion is Fridoli keeps so many plants open so that production can still be carried out when there is a problem in one factory. In addition, the company also wants to reduce the transportation cost when the finished product has to be moved over long distances. And the last conclusion is. Frito-Lay doesn't produce all of their products in each factory because the products that will be produced in each factory is decided by the leader or director of the company based on the environment or region where the condition of the raw materials that can be processed at the site. That's all from us. Thank you so much for watching.